Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about Skin CMS and some update that we've done with this. Um, but before we get into that, I wanted to show you a little bit about this building. So I'm getting more and more into construction where uh, a building needs to be traced over a period of time, uh, what process has been made. And I wanted to have my own 3D model out of this. And so uh, I am connected with One Step North where there's a 3D guy um, which uh, helped me build to uh, put this all together. Um, we bought, we got the city model uh, for the environment that you see over here around, around this building. And we've got uh, one of the buildings from here. Uh, I believe it is this one over here. Um, we paid this one, we got the other one. Um, we asked also for permission from b both Matheus and uh, Pedro if we can use this as uh, training material, as a panorama. And for that reason, um, you guys can download this panorama for free um, in the link uh, below. Um, so you can have the same kind of panorama to follow along the steps in this tutorial. Um, Let's see. So um, we've, we've, uh, the 3D guy put it all together. Um, he made the 360 render. Um, and as we've got the 360 render, um, I wanted to see, all right, we've got all these 50 floors in this building. That's pretty cool. What if we can do this? So um, here I've got sold and available, two types of hotspots. And I've got all of this linked to Airtable, where we can say, we put the, all these floors, just all of them to available. And the top floor we put to salt. And right now we can see the top floor is still available. And these are salt. Now we're going to refresh this. And we've got all of these things updated from Airtable. Hotspots. No skin this time. So even though we're still calling it skin CMS, it is now hotspot compatible too, which is I think pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and this is what I would like to uh, go through in this video. All right, let's get into this. So I've already set up a very minimum uh, air table base table, uh, a title over here, uh, concatenate floor with the floor ID, which is over here. The floor ID is an auto number right over here, as you can see. It can also be a number field, it doesn't really matter as long as it's unique. And I've got an availability table, uh, sold and available. And um, just basic stuff, the, the 3D Vista open record is not really needed for this tutorial. So for now, I'm just going to hide this. Um, and I've connected this already with Skin CMS. So uh, just the basics over here, base ID, floors, uh, access tokens. And the mappings, uh, because for this video, we're not really going to work with the skin. Uh, we're not going to map anything from Airtable with the skin. Uh, it's going to be only the hotspots in this case. So we don't need to do this. We can, but we don't have to. So I'm just going to keep this like this. And then the 3 Vista setup, we can copy this code. Um, and this mapping ID we're going to need later on, which I'll show you. So we start with this one. Um, we get over to 3D Vista. And right over here, we're going to paste this inside on initialization, have the mapping. All right, so that's the first part. Now, for this video, I'm going to use uh, the JavaScript V2 library uh, from uh, Blaze IT. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to code uh, in here. Um, it is, however, it is possible to have this done uh, just by, with the standard 3D Vista code. Uh, if that is needed, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, so for now, over here, as you can see, I'm adding in the JavaScript API library, and there's all this code be below this. Um, that, so, this is kind of like the rough overview of what we have. And then in the panoramas, the finished one, hotspots. What I have over here, 
are two types of image hotspots. One is sold and one is available, as you can see. Um, I've uh, added the tag to the floor to all of those hotspots so that we can just show or hide everything on the beginning uh, when the tour is being loaded. Because now when we preview this, um, it will show up everything, like so. But we only want to show the things that are being asked over here. So only uh, if it's sold, show the sold, and if it's available, show the available. Um, so by now, for now, I'm going to hide everything by default by just having uh, hiding everything with the tag floor. So let's go to the skin, main viewer, add action, show hide hotspots on initialization, hide everything that is floor. Okay, you can do this over the whole project or only in this panorama. In this case, I'm doing this specifically in the finished panorama. And we can see all of those hotspots being hidden by default. Okay, great. So let's preview this. Cool. Nothing shows up, but it's there. So now what we need to do is we need to um, make a new code, execute JavaScript on initialization. And here we're going to add a function that can read the skin CMS data. And this is one of the latest updates and the things that we've uh, allowed. Um, and what this does is uh, the ability with some code to do more advanced things like show and hiding all these hotspots, which are relevant. So I've already got some code prepared. It is right over here. Um, basically, if I'm correct, it's uh, almost everything like this. This is whatever your own function would be. So if you're a coder, you can do your own things with this. If you don't know how to code, you can copy paste these code snippets and put it into your project and make it work. Um, and, and what I'll just briefly explain here is, is a rough overview of how this code works, even if you don't know how to do it. So one of the things here is a mapping ID. You need to get this from SkinCMS. So this is 6F19. Da, 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 da. And when you get into here, you can go over here and say copy mapping ID to clipboard. Go over here. And we can add this in here. So that's where you get that. Um, now, um, what this is doing is it is looking here for the record fields availability. So the availability is the name of the field in Airtable. This is right over here, as you can see. And um, it's uh, in the code we're asking, okay, within this field availability, if it is available, so with a capital A, yeah, you can see that over here as well, capital A, available, then make a variable and have available without a capital A. Now available without a capital A is, I'm just going to uh, skip this for now. Available without a capital A is all in here. So all of this, as you can see. And so that's what it's looking for. And uh, otherwise, if it's uh, else if the same availability is set to sold with a capital S, then the status is unavailable. Um, and then here we're saying this status whether it's available or unavailable. So it's putting it there. Um, it's being combined, concatenated with floor, just like right over here, uh, with this sign as well. Yeah. And uh, right after there, there is uh, plus record 
dot fields dot floor ID and the floor ID this is coming from here as you can see this so um, mm -hmm. and then it sets the floor uh, it, it sets the uh, hotspot to enabled true or false I can also do the opposite put this to false doesn't make sense in this case so this is kind of like the rough uh, overview of like how this code works if you are a coder you can play around all you want uh, and you have a lot of freedom with this um, and if you're not a coder you can just copy paste this with the setup of how I've built the previous things and add this into your skin into the main viewer execute JavaScript and then we just paste all of this inside here then we hit preview and as you can see we've got everything up there um, we can now go to Airtable change the top floor to available refresh it and it's available so that's how this works um, I hope you find this tutorial very useful uh, that you understand the possibilities with what can be done with skin CMS now we allow coding as well uh, to happen in here uh, with things such as show hiding the hotspots um, if you like this video give it a like and um, well see you in the next video by the way uh, skin CMS can be bought at uh, 360creators.com slash skin CMS um, as well as the blaze IT v2 library as well as the 3d models that I've explained before like this one over here with this building and the um, panorama this this panorama over here is available as a free download uh, in uh, the link below so um, com uh, together with all the available and sold hotspots so you can make your own skin CMS mappings work the same way um, yeah have a great day. All right. Bye.